I was 24 years old and had never seen eggs by the dozen. In our home, even as a banker, my father on Sunday got one egg. And my brother and my sister and I, three children, we shared one egg. During World War I, nearly a million German civilians were starved to death by a British naval blockade. That's a huge part of why Hitler was so obsessed with Lebensraum, or living space, and it's also a big part of why so many Germans supported his expansionist policies. See, in order to get eggs you had to go from Holland or in Belgium. They speak a different language, either Dutch or French. So between the countries you had too deep in order to get eggs, and you had to go to France to get rye or wheat. One of the most enticing promises Hitler made to the German people was that, with him in charge, they'd never starve again. They could just take Holland, take Belgium, and voila, problem solved. That turned out to be a lie, of course. Milk, eggs, it was almost impossible to get them during the war, because people were robbed on the way in by civilians who were hungry. Milk and eggs didn't go to warehouses, they came from the farmland and they were intercepted. Royal Norwegian Information Service it doesn't get as much press, but food shortages may have been a bigger killer than combat during the war. Then, of course, there was the war itself when we and the Hitler Youth were putting out a fire during the war, we were under constant fire, in other words the tanks were shooting at us, or artillery were shooting at us, or planes were strafing us, and we still had to get the wounded out and still had to put out the fire. Keep in mind, Horst was 14 here, an age where our biggest concern was finding rare Pokemon. Life as a German child during World War II was a nightmare. People on both sides wanted Horst dead. One of the things that happened was, in the defense of Berlin, if you retreated as a soldier Hitler youth, and had any ammo in your pocket, the SS would shoot you. Or not just shoot you, they would hang you. After Berlin surrendered the first night, the Russians were celebrating, they get drunk, and they raped the women like crazy. So there were streets filled with drunken soldiers raping the women, and there were children hung by the SS hanging from lamps with notes around them. What they considered a celebration was a slaughter. The common perception of Nazi Germany is that of a nation bewitched by a madman. But many Germans, even those who followed the Nazi regime like Horst, still thought he was a nut. Horst saw Hitler speak many times during his childhood, and he walked away thinking the guy was kind of loopy.